Hello and good afternoon everyone. I'm day weather meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon a video update for Tuesday, December 14th. Highlights of today's video include light to moderate snow impacting western Wyoming tonight, especially the mountains and adjacent mountain passes and valleys. That snow will spread eastward to sections of the Bighorns and Interstate 90 tonight, as well as southward over the Upper Green River Basin and sections of Interstate 80 just east of the Utah line to about Evanston and Rock Springs. Wind gusts from earlier today should decrease briefly tonight over the plains with some lingering high wind gusts over the gap wind areas in the overnight. Then those winds will roar back with a vengeance come tomorrow and spread not just to the plains but to surrounding states and we'll check that out here in a moment. That of course is going to lead to some very high impacts for travelers and light and high profile vehicles from those strong winds and we cannot rule out some isolated snow squall activity, combination of scatterlight snow showers, some instability and in those strong wind gusts producing brief but awfully intense localized areas of blowing snow and reduced to poor visibility. Obviously hard to pinpoint exactly where, but we could see them over the higher elevations of Interstate 80 and 25 during the day tomorrow, especially through the afternoon. Well, here's a satellite image of what's going on in the upper atmosphere on this Tuesday. Here's Wyoming resting on the leading edge of that digging trough, making its way inland off the California coast, providing us with a awfully robust southwest flow pattern that's given us a few clouds and those strong winds, of course, but also providing for some moderately mild temperatures this Tuesday afternoon. As we advance into the overnight tonight, this is at around midnight or just before, that trough axis will be resting over the western Rockies, more so over the Great Basin of Nevada. And that will continue eastward, providing us the moisture and energy we need for developing moderate snow overnight, not just in the mountains, but spreading east and southward with bands of light to moderate snow affecting the western third of Wyoming eastward through parts of the Bighorn Basin, the Bighorn Mountains, and the adjacent areas of Interstate 90 from the Montana line through Sheridan and Buffalo. As we look back in the mountains, could see about three to six inches of snow, including the mountain passes of Teton and Togety Pass, with the adjacent valleys and South Pass looking at about two to four inches during the overnight through early Wednesday. Some of the light snow shower activity will also spread east and south with amounts mainly of a trace to an inch or two, but we could also see some bands of moderate snow develop after about 10 o'clock tonight, affecting sections of Interstate 80 from the Utah line through Evanston east towards Rock Springs with light snow showers further east between Rock Springs and Rollins. Some more moderate impacts, again, looking back on Interstate 90, could affect the Montana line through about Sheridan and Buffalo. Buffalo, slick, icy roads, areas of black ice, and some blowing snow and reduced visibility from some blustery winds. Again, as we mentioned at the beginning, wind gusts expected to diminish on the plains overnight tonight, with some lingering high wind gusts at or near 60 miles an hour over the wind-prone sections, most notably I-80 and 25, but could affect central Wyoming and Trona County and South Pass as well. Well, as we continue into the day, this is around midday, 11 o'clock or so, that trough axis will be bisecting Wyoming and continuing through the Colorado Front Range. Now, as it does move through, it's going to cause a very tight pressure difference from this low pressure and building high pressure over in the south and west. And with a west to east orientation, that's going to provide a very favorable environment for strong wind gusts and enough instability for scattered snow showers. This is a map of potential wind gusts at about 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Doesn't look necessarily ominous, but with that tightly wound low, it is very likely that this model projection is undercutting the wind gusts quite a bit. As you can see here, anything in the green getting into some orange and reds and even dark colors represent wind gusts at or above 40 miles an hour with the summit between Laramie and Cheyenne getting in on some gusts well over 60 miles an hour. Might even see gusts 70 to 80 miles an hour in those high wind prone sections. However, we do expect some of these gusts to expand further east on I-80 through shared, uh, Cheyenne, Pine Bluffs, and is spreading further into the east central Wyoming Plains and continuing east towards Nebraska and South Dakota. So as we take a look at what weather impacts are going to look like, widely scattered snow showers anticipated here and there throughout the day through late afternoon. Daytime snow showers will clear up overnight in the western mountains and valleys with any additional accumulations primarily in the morning. With some blustery winds, this could lead to areas of blowing snow, most notably near South Pass. 
Morning, moderate impact still expected to continue along sections of Interstate 80 from the Utah line, Evanston, and Rock Springs. The snow will dissipate, but we could see some blustery wind gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour, and that could lead to some lingering areas of blowing snow, not to mention the slick and icy road conditions. Further east and northeast along sections of Interstate 90, again, a morning moderate impacts expected over sections of Interstate 90 with widely scattered slick roads and areas of blowing snow from strong wind gusts expected to be about 40 and 50 miles an hour. Here's where most of the activity is going to occur, and this is what we kind of need to highlight the most. Daytime snow showers, a trace to an inch on the plains, localized higher amounts of a couple inches around Casper Mountain and perhaps the snowy and Sierra Madres and the southern Laramie Range here. Wind gusts could get up to 55 and 60 miles an hour over portions of the plains. This would include around Lusk and Torrington and further east towards Pine Bluffs and into Nebraska. We're looking at is sections of Interstate 80 from Rollins through Laramie, Cheyenne, Pine Bluffs, and further east into Nebraska. Gusts could get up to 70 and even 80 miles an hour at times during the day, most likely late morning through about mid-afternoon. High wind-prone areas are going to exceed that. We could see some localized areas get up to 90 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, not going to be sustained, of course, but some very strong winds impacting those gap wind areas with that tight pressure difference going to be very treacherous for light and high profile vehicle travelers. In fact, with the combination of snow showers and these winds might be best for those traveling in light and high profile vehicles to avoid those areas altogether. Even if we don't get these widespread wind gusts, areas of blowing snow will be likely. And the good news is the snow should end up by late afternoon and early evening with the winds diminishing overnight on the plains. Still could see some breezy and strong gusts around 40 miles an hour at times, but Thursday is looking a lot better as far as winds go across central and eastern Wyoming. So as we take a look again at the forecast of travel, in weather impacts the low, moderate, and high categories. Moderate categories over much of the state, two-thirds of it or so, with slick roads, areas of blowing snow, reduced visibility, and snow showers during the day, with the hot spot again here in the central, east, and southeastern part of Wyoming, accounting for those very strong wind gusts, Areas of blowing snow, reduced and poor visibility, and the possibility of snow showers making things quite treacherous in spots through tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have yourself a great day, stay safe, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.